This is the fraction of an inch adding machine. It was designed by Kurt P. Jaeger in 1951. Uh, he manufactured them himself and uh, patented the design in 1952 and that is the patent number you see written down here. This one is probably from a, a little bit later. It comes with a uh, yeah, with an instruction uh, leaflet or directions. But the interesting thing is it has a sticker down the bottom that says Fractron. So this machine was now called the Fractron or maybe that was just the company that uh, was making them at this point. So this one is probably from either the late 1950s or 1960s. Uh, the first ones that uh, Kurt Jaeger made, he made them himself. And uh, yeah, they had a, a black center here with his name on it. And it's, uh, it's a very simple machine. Uh, yeah, it's just a few metal discs. On the back it also says it has a sticker here with Fractron on it. Uh, so it's just uh, one moving disc really and yeah to use it what you do is uh, yeah you look at these uh, fractions all around the rim of the front uh, front of the disc and these are the fractions of an inch going from 1 64th all the way around up to 63 64ths here is a window that's currently uh, showing uh, nothing, just black. And if you want to add various uh, fractions of an inch, you use a stylus or a pen. You can put your pen, say, at uh, 3 sixteenths in the hole next to it and dial that number in until you hit this, uh, this stop here. And now the window says 3 sixteenths. If I add, say, 5 sixteenths, put the stylus in and move it round, and you get one half. To, uh, to clear, the, uh, yeah, clear the register, as it were, clear the window, you put your stylus in the, the black uh, hole here, the, the hole that has a black rim around it, and move that to the start. And now it's back uh, to uh, empty again to zero. It has no carry mechanism of any kind. It's just three discs, the front and back one stapled together or riveted together, and uh, a middle one is more of a, a ring that uh, is free to move. It does have one small extra feature, which is um, yeah, this here, it has a, a lip on the moving ring and uh, yeah, a, a gap here where you can put your finger. So what happens is if you uh, add certain uh, fractions and they uh, add up to something that's more than one inch, you can then feel that tab going past your finger. That way you know that whatever number it says here, 5, 30 seconds, that uh, that is not the real answer that you have to add one whole inch to that to get the right answer. And uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. In the uh, early 1980s, another patent was um, issued to uh, an Anthony Picios for a new way of manu manufacturing these and uh, yeah they were then uh, re-released and those have uh, an extra patent number here and actually say Fractron over the center here. You see quite a lot of these uh, many of them also have uh, an advertising logo or slogan in the middle because these were used quite a lot for promotional purposes. They must have been quite cheap to manufacture. So this was the fraction of an inch adding machine. Thank you very much for watching.